Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Those are the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, whose correct and proper names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom to the hopeful elect, unto the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring. In this truth and in this doctrine that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, to you I say shalom. It's happening now, not later. All right, a lot of jakes think that you know that sh that, that this thing, all right, these prophecies, all right, the, this this NWO, this New World Order, all right, all this stuff that we've been talking about, we've been speaking about, we've been prophesying about, it's happening later, happening 10, 20, 30, 100 years from now. No, the shit's happening now. All right, in in. You don't get with this truth, man. You're gonna get you're gonna get swept away, man. You're gonna get you're gonna get jacked up out here, okay? Because hey, Jake don't understand. They 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 understand, but they don't understand. They don't want to understand because they still got one foot in the world, really two feet in the world. But they can see shit happening, but they don't want to. Hey, they don't want to. Uh, um, they don't want to repent and turn to the Lord. All right, they they're trying to find another way besides turning to the Lord. All right, but besides getting. Uh, uh, counsel from the prophets, all right? Uh, getting the answers of everything that's going on from the prophets because the prophets have the answers, all right? But it's, hey, the prophets having the answers for a limited time too because there's going to be a famine of the word. And when that famine of the word hit, you're going to have niggas out here bugging out, all right? You're going to have people that act like they got the truth, but they really don't. And, and, and you know, they're going to be confounded because they don't know what the hell they're talking about, all right? So you kind of got that now with niggas out here thinking they got the truth and leading out people astray. All right, but the scriptures say that the, the, the Most High says, or in Job it says, the deceived and the deceiver are his. I think that's Job. Uh, I believe so. All right, so if the prophet deceived you, hey, the, the Most High deceived that prophet. I think it's another scripture too in Ezekiel. But um, let me grab this scripture in Second Ezra, in Second uh, Ezra chapter six and verse twenty, because these tokens, these prophecies, these signs are, are showing themselves. All right, and you Israelites, y'all, y'all. I know a lot of Jake is bugged out, but y'all not that bugged out where you can't see what the hell is going on. You can't see, understand these uprisings. All right, these nations are jockeying uh, uh, for position over there in the Middle East. All right, these these uh, nations, Russia, Iran, they're, they're um, you know, they all these nations are are are, are making pacts with each other, doing a uh, 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 joint um, military drills, coming together. All right, <laughs> this is man. You could just you could just you know, you don't even gotta go to the alternative media. You can just if you if the spirits you can go go on CNN and and, and if you read between the lines and see what the hell is going on. All right, but our people still won't hearken. All right, our people are looking for a sign. They want the most high to come down and, and tell them this is the MOTB and this is the beast and and Esau's, you know, the so called white men. No, the Heavenly Father uses men as prophets to tell you these things. All right. He ain't gonna come down and tell tell no knucklehead, hard head nigga, nothing. All right. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter uh, six and verse twenty. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away, all right, meaning this age, shall be finished, then I will show these tokens. The books shall be opened before the firmament, and there, and they shall, and they shall see all together. The, the tokens are these prophecies. All right, and the books is the scriptures. All right, the scripture says. Let me grab it in Daniel, uh, Daniel twelve, and um. I think seven, seven. Um, verse four, Slakia. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Hey, the books, the the the, the seals are open. All right, the tokens, which are the prophecies, are are taking place. They're happening now. They're not happening five years from now, ten years from now. She could man, she could pop off. Now, and, and then we come next year, 2020, hey, we be out of here, okay? America will be destroyed. All these prophecies come to pass. That's that's what time we're living in, all right? And, and you got to have, man, you got to be, you got to have uh, some kind of, uh, what's the word, um, urgency about this, okay? You got to be like, okay, you know, what, what do I got to do to get right with the most high? But what are our people doing? They sitting back wait, waiting for, you know, <laughs> they sit back waiting for the lines the uh form for the, the MOTB. All right. They they sitting back waiting, you know, to see that, you know, oh shit, it's a concentration camp. Oh, these brothers was talking about that. Hey, you ain't <laughs> you better take heed now. 
All right. This is a limited time offer. All right. Um, let me jump over a chapter to um, and go to uh, second editor chapter 20, uh, excuse me, chapter seven, verse 26. And it is, behold, the time shall come that these tokens, which I have told thee shall come to pass and the bride shall appear and she coming forth shall be seen that that now is withdrawn from the earth. OK, so, hey, these tokens, these tokens are coming to pass. These prophecies are coming to pass. And how shy is coming back. All right. To 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 uh, redeem the elect and take this devil out. All right. And all, when, we, when we when we preach these things, when we say these things, talk about UFOs and angels. Hey, this sound, it may sound far fetched. All right. But we got faith. We know that these things we know that the most high and the sun exists, the angels exist. And we know these prophecies are going to come to pass and are coming to pass. All right. You have to have eyes to see. All right. These the, hey, these prophecies are speaking. OK, if you hey, Esau about Esau's on the verge of shutting this shit down again, where it's going to be really martial law out here, because these people are going to bug out once this second lockdown takes it takes place. They're going to have military uh, 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 patrol in these streets. These cities are going to be locked off. Second Ezra's chapter uh, 15 and 16 are going to be in full effect. All right. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter uh, nine, and verse one. He answered me then. And said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, signs, tokens, prophecies pass, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Hey, the Most High is about to send his son to visit this place. Okay, he's going to send his son to judge this place, redeem the elect, and hey, push out mass judgment all across the whole globe. All right. And, and, you know, on Esau, two thirds of our people, all these heathen nations, you're going to see a lot of bloodshed in these last days. All right. And, and like you've never seen before, like I've never seen before. OK. But, hey, the prophets uh, of old foretold these things. These They prophesied these things. Ezra was, was heavy in the spirit. Isaiah, uh, uh, Jeremiah. OK. Uh, uh, Ezekiel. OK. Hey, John the Revelator saw the MOTB. Okay, he saw the hey, a lot of these prophets, they saw the destruction. They saw Babylon going up in smoke. Read Revelation 18. All right, when when, when it specifically talks about the virgin daughter of Babylon going up in smoke. Okay? And all the nations be well in her. Okay, hey, that's gonna happen. And we're close to that. Okay? And and people think that they got time. Like, oh, you know, cause just because you got a job and you know it's football and all that shit. Hey, just how Esau shut this shit down last year for two months, two or three months. Hey, it's nothing for them to shut it down again. They not, they don't care about no football or or, or, or no college football or uh, uh, NFL or basketball, none of that shit. They trying to get their new world order cracking, all right. And we trying to get it the hell out of here, all right. So you ain't got time, man. It's Jake, Jake, Jake is bugged out thinking that you know they got time and oh, you know. And Jake think that we just talking. They, Jake think that, you know, we just some crazy niggas out there on the street. We just talking and none of the things that we say are going to come to pass. None, none of the things that we are, are prophesying about. Shit is happening right now. All right. So it ain't like, oh, you know, we back in 1930 when we talk. Hey, shit is happening. OK. Uh, 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 um, you know, it's any 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 day. All right. It, it shit could pop off. That's how close we are. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 16 and verse 2. He answered and said to me, when it is evening, yea, say, I will be f it, will, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather, foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the signs of of the times. You you niggas can understand that, oh, it's going to rain tomorrow. Let me get a coat. Okay. Oh, it's going to be hot. Let me put on some shorts and sunglasses and shit. But you can't see what the hell's going on. You can't see when this devil's coming down with great wrath. You don't see what them pushing this juice on everybody is about. You can't see that. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. Actually, how was shy speaking? How is I knew how you niggas get down? All right. Hey, you're not going to hearken into the prophets. You're not going to hearken into the prophecies, the signs that are being shown by the Heavenly Father. All right. You And, the, and he said the only sign is going to be given to you, the prophet Jonas. And Jonas represents the prophets now. Hey, we're the sign. All right. Whenever there was a, a, a downfall of a kingdom, the prophets were out. 
And this is the downfall of the greatest, biggest kingdom ever that ever was. All right. So what do you think the prophets? There's going to be prophets all over the world telling you that Babylon, the Babylon is going to fall. America is Babylon the Great, spoken of in the scriptures. It's going to be destroyed. You so-called Negroes like those Native Americans and Israelites scattered amongst these heathen nations are the children of Israel and to repent and call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Hey, we're living in those times, all right? So you, hey, you, you looking for a sign? The Most High is showing you plenty of signs, all right? So, so don't, hey, you know, hey, you can't never say you were warned, all right? Because that's the job of a prophet to warn the people, to warn the nation of Israel of, you know, to repent and turn from their wicked ways before they get destroyed. Let me grab this. Um, Ezekiel 12 and all down to the bottom. Verse 27. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And, and he prophesy of times that are far off. Oh, that, that'll never happen in this lifetime. You know, oh, that's what, that's what Jake tells me. You know, and I don't even be pushing it really hard on Jake. Jake just, oh, that ain't gonna happen. Oh, yeah. nigga. The mark of the beast is, is, I said it, but the MOTB is, is almost here. Okay. And, and that prophecy with, along with that prophecy is, is, uh, is right behind world war three. Okay. So that's like a one, uh, one and one a one. The, once those things happen, you're going to see a lot of things start to happen fast. Or therefore say unto them, say, thus saith the Lord power. There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord power. Hey, shit ain't gonna be prolonged no more. All right. Hey, you think the you think Yahweh Shai and the Most High is 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 you know? Do you think they're not fed up? The scriptures say that the, this devil sins and reach up to the reach up unto the heavens. All right. So it's only a matter of time because hey, Yahweh Shai can't wait. It's only a matter of time for the Most High Yahweh to uh, give Yahweh Yahweh Shai that order. Like, all right, all right. <laughs> The, the elect has suffered long enough. Hey, you know, hey, go get him. You know, and, and when he comes, he coming with the force. He ain't, hey, how is I not coming half-stepping? He coming to, he coming to put in work. He coming to, uh, to, to, to put in work on these, on you niggas, you two-thirds of Israel, and you Edomites, and you heathens, okay? He said he coming back for those, uh, uh those Romans that pierced him. So how much more the, the, the elites, how much more you niggas that said crucify him and let his blood be upon our uh, our, our children? Yeah, he's coming back for y'all too. Because y'all are backing y'all lot today, being scoffers and being niggas and 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 uh and hate on the prophets. Okay. Um let me grab this. Uh scripture I want it. Let me see. Proverbs uh 10 and let me see. Yeah, the fear of the Lord prolongs days. Okay, hey, the, the 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 those the elect's days are going to be prolonged. Okay, because the elect is going to live through this. The elect is going to get beamed up. And yes, there's going to be some men that are martyrs, but they're going to be the first ones that are going to be raised up. They're going to be on the chariots before the elect get beamed up. The fear of the Lord prolongs days. You got to fear the Lord. Okay, and that's the beginning of wisdom. But the years of the wicked shall be shortened. All right, all you niggas that think this shit is not happening, your years, your time is going to be shortened. All right, the Most High is going to require, hey, the angels are going to, re, the Most High is going to require uh, uh, your life, okay? I got a few more scripts I want to grab. This is Second Peter uh, 3, and I'm going to start at verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. The most high, he's not, he's, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Okay? He wants all y'all to come to repentance, all you Israelites. But we know that's not going to happen because it's prophesied not to happen. All right? Two thirds, a hey, three parts therein shall be uh, 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 cut off and die. As the scripture says in Zechariah the uh, 13th chapter, in the uh, 8th and 9th verse. All right? But the Lord. But the day of the Lord, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works therein shall be burned up. Okay, so the Lord is coming like a thief in the night. Right when you think, oh, this is not gonna happen in my lifetime, damn, it's just happening in your lifetime. The Lord's come back, he's destroying people, and and 
you know, jacking people up and, and you have no and you have no uh, no covering. You'll have no covering in that day because you didn't hearken. You thought the Lord was delaying his coming. OK, you were that like that slothful servant. All right. That 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 um, that that um, what is it in uh, Matthew 24 that uh, that thought his uh, uh, this Lord was delaying his coming. OK, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? OK, looking and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's thermonuclear destruction. That's happening. That's going to take place in your lifetime, Jake. All right. That's going to happen. And unless you repent and turn to the Lord, you're going to be a part of it. You're going to be a part of the prophecy. You're going to be written in the book of life. All right. But not in a good, not in a good way. All right. You're going to be written in the book of life. You're going to be one of those that come back through the elect in, 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 in shame and contempt. All right. Yeah, you'll you'll be straight. You'll have the law, statutes, and commandments written in you. All right. You'll be in the new covenant, but it's how you got to the kingdom. I want to get to the kingdom, Lord willing, on them chariots. I want to be redeemed. I want to be saved. I want to be saved up out of this. Okay. I don't want to come back with my head down when I'm around a member of an elect. Okay. I want to. Hey, I want to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. I want to sit at the table. I want to be worthy to sit at the table. Okay. You know that's what that's what the men of the Lord are fighting for, man. Got one last scripture I want to grab in uh, Revelations 3 and uh, 3. It said, it reads, remember therefore thou, excuse me, remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come as a thief, come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. You got to be on your watch. You got to be circumspect. All right. Hey, a lot of these niggas ain't on their watch. They not on their watch. Even people in the circumcision, even Jake's out there in Israel. They 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 mind is on some something else, getting rich, getting money. All right. <laughs> doing every and doing any and everything with prophesying and pushing his word in truth and sincerity. All right. But hey, the Lord is gonna come on them like a thief in the night because hey, Jake and Jake and Jake and this not hastening to the day of the Lord. They they these a lot of these niggas, like Sakari, for example, they wait for uh uh to drop their mixtape or some shit like that, okay? And they're not—they're not hastening to the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's why it's going, hey, the Lord's going to come on them like a thief in the night because they're not looking. They see the and a lot of them because they can see the prophecies. They just think they got time. They think that okay, you know, you know, we we we, we you know to, by the end of this year we should be straight. No, by the end of this year, you know, hey, your ass could be out there in a concentration camp, um, you know, uh, uh you know, out there bugged out. All right, because you because the most high put demons on you because you didn't hearken. All right, and that's reality. That then you know it's gonna be a lot of Jakes out there that's in this truth that that fall out because they got demons on them. All right, they wasn't sincere, and the most high you know didn't want them. All right, so hey, and hey, the shit is happening now, man. It, not later. All right, not, not ten years, not twenty years from now. Hey, it's happening in this lifetime. You Jakes, you better get right and and hearken unto this truth and hearken unto the Lord and, and repent. So, Lord, within this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto you. How about Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hashem, Till next time, I say Shalom.